class there. And mm -hmm. Exactly. And um, when on this site, when you get into my Google Library site, uh, see this one that says, uh, let me, the, I'll, the, the school, see this one that says school to home? Later on, if you visit that, you have full access to all the lessons that they taught our teachers for how to. Now, it doesn't just apply for the netbooks, it's computers. So you could go on there and, and literally put yourself through the little training program for how to, to tran make a transition, what they taught us, what they taught to do. I wanted to share with you a little bit. We saw a, a picture or two about this, but here's a science lesson. They are dissecting sheep eyeballs, and they're divided into collaborative, a collaborative learning group uh, where they end up with a, uh, a project, but they divided up their tasks, and the one who had the, sque the most squeamish stomach, they put on the computer. Because what you can see is they pulled up a site on dissecting the eyeball, and then they actually dissected the eyeball, and they used their netbooks to... Um, <laughs> to go ahead and, and identify. So what our staff is, this is, this is transitioning to what I have to do uh, as a library teacher too. How do the, the teachers design uh, virtual lessons to go along with this? Do you ever leave the laptop or do you combine paper and virtual? These are all questions. And of course here you can see a page out of the actual, just out of the virtual textbook. And that's how a page out of the virtual textbook looks. It looks just like you're sitting there looking in a textbook. There is no difference at all. Uh, and then I wanted to get down, uh, this was just the, the language arts teacher, uh, which is, well, there we go, we're still loading that. Just a, a quick view. In language arts, they, this was bell-to-bell uh, -bell instruction where the bell hasn't even rung yet. They come in, they know to get out their netbooks, they know to open it up and begin the warm-up exercise, and the teacher is giving the directions to the kids. Um, I, I just want to say, these kids, learning has changed. I, I, I want to say again that this is the way to change education. These kids are learning so much, so fast, and they are totally engaged. And then look and see the, the visual clues in an encyclopedia. That has to be part of your lesson. And then you're going to go to a website and say, okay, here's a menu where that would help you find subtopics and subtopics as well. At least now what they do is they'll sit down and they'll, they'll write their topic into here. And they will create, um, and what, as I'm changing this as well, they will create their thesis statement in that area as well. I may not have it stated there, but it's in other areas. They will click and type their subtopics as they locate them. The good part about this is that you, they'll save it, they'll download it to their desktop, and they'll continue to, to interface with this as a working, changeable tool, okay, which is really great. The, um, continue on down, uh, they will uh, just, you'll go into the downloadable. I, I will tell you that things are not necessarily linked on this generic copy because every time a teacher comes in and teams with me, whatever kind of note sheet they choose, we'll get into that in a minute, I have to go back and change this generic form to plug in what the teacher and I have planned. And I will go back and whatever Google Doc the kids get to, to, to pull up, I will have gone back in and, and made those links match with that particular unit of study.